Good morning guys. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today is going to be an out and about video. It's a little after five in the morning, pitch black outside and I'm getting ready to go to Gavilon. Just made my flasks up and everything now so I'm, uh, I'm all ready to leave. Got everything I need from my wellies right through to my scales, my eyeglass, done my check this morning, make sure I got absolutely everything. Gonna have some fun getting out of my street. I live in a little private cul-de-sac if you like. And happy days, all the neighbours have blocked up the turning point. So I've now got to reverse the full length of the street. That's gonna be interesting. Um, however, I'm not gonna let that annoy me. Looking forward to Getting the Gavile on this morning, see what I can get. Um, as you know, I'm not selling today. Um, I have to pick my grumpy up from respite, so it's just a day out. I've looked around and buy a few bits. Been a really hectic week. Got loads done, so see how things go. I'll probably have a little chat to you when I'm driving in the car again now, guys. Okay, guys, so we're on our way. Um, managed to get my car out, as you do. Um, as you'll see, the, it's a little quieter this morning. It's just myself going. Uh, those of you who follow me regular know that um, Sandra only comes with me on weekends. So Monday through Friday, it's just me. But, that's the joys of being a mum. My children are at home. Um, little update, grandbaby is doing absolutely beautiful. She's doing really well. Um, she's home. Um, they've been staying at my house a few nights, a few, a few nights at their aunties. It's been really, really nice having them there. Oh, tell you what, how I missed listening to a baby cry in the nights. Brings back some memories, I tell you. And she's a good baby. She really is. She give her crutches, give her food and everything and that's all she wants. She just wants a little bit of love and she's back fast asleep. So, you know, what more can you ask for? She is such a good baby. Um, wow. She makes Cameron look like the devil. Um, he had colic when he was uh, very young and oh my God, did he scream. And um, his little baby girl. Wow, she's an angel. She really is an angel compared to him. Wow. I take a thousand of her compared to one of him, honestly. <laughs> but he knows I love him anyway. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's home. She's doing well. Uh, Bethany's really well. She's recovered from having the baby really well. Um, selling wise, um, uh, well, how do I go there? Online hasn't been brilliant, hence I've been back at the markets, but in all honesty, this year I had every intention of coming back to the markets, or car boot sales if you like, um, to clear. I want to reshape my uh, online business, that I'll only be having the best of the pieces on there, or the, uh, the interesting and the more expensive item. I can sell easier on a car boot sale and for the same or more money than I can actually sell for on eBay. Um, you know, you can put an item up on eBay for £12 sterling and sometimes you get bids, sometimes you don't, sometimes it runs. But by the time you take out your listing fees, your commission fees, your PayPal fees, your parking, you always lose a little bit on the parking. Um, pay for your box, pay for your parcel tape and so forth. You, know, you don't actually make a huge amount. Yet I can get that same 10, 12, 15 pounds sometimes even uh, on a car boot sale for the piece because they can handle it, see how good it is, see the size. They got no postage to take into consideration. Uh, so I'm changing my structured uh, business online throughout the summer. Um, through the winter obviously it'd be different but I'll stock back up on the stock. I'll bang it online if it sells, it sells, if it don't, it don't. I have an eBay subscription. So the first 200 listings are free. 
eBay got it wrong, um, quite severely wrong. They uh, they do free listings for all their public buyers, uh, buyers, sorry, public sellers. So anybody throughout eBay can sell if they're just public, Joe Public, and they don't pay a penny. The only thing they pay then is their commission on their sales. Yet, as a business seller, I have to pay listing on every single item above my subscription. So I have to pay a subscription to qualify for my certain amount of items. Then, after that subscription, every single item I then have to pay for. Now surely you would think eBay would be looking after the people that pay them. Now, there's more business sellers than there are public. And to be honest with you, the amount of public banging the stuff on because they have no fees and they don't know what they got half the time or they've come into them so cheap uh, that they bring the prices down on eBay anyway or flood the market with the stock. We would clearly think eBay would say, right, well, he's a business seller. He sells X thousands a year of stock. Look at the commission I'm making off him. Let's reward the business sellers, not just the public who sell the odd one or two items. So it don't make sense to me. Um, obviously, they lose more money, I suppose, on the listing side of it because the business sellers like myself probably take up a lot of the bulk. However, what we lack then in listing fees, we would make up for in commission because we would bank thousands of pieces on, guys. Um, instead of just a few hundred pieces. It wouldn't cost us nothing. We'd fill eBay up to the brim and leave it sit there until it burst. Um, you know, if we weren't paying listing on our pieces like the public, then God would we have some stuff on there. So, swings and roundabouts, but certainly eBay need to look at their loyalty policy. Uh, they reward the public, they look after the buyers. To be honest with you, they don't really tend to benefit the business sellers that much they look at us as well they need the business so they're not going to go nowhere this car is behind me got a car right up my backside oh he's just pulling around that's all i want this time in the morning yeah anyway he's gone um threw me off my chain of thought there again I was getting a little nervous he was a bit close to me so yeah, I was having a little moan about eBay. Um, eBay is a beast that you just cannot recreate. Um, there are many auction houses out there, or auction, online auctions. They just don't get the traffic that eBay gets. Now I've had a few people recommend different sites to me. And I've looked at them and they do not pull the money that eBay can pull. And that's the trouble, eBay know they got you trapped. But with as with the likes of myself now, um, where I'd be banging at 50 to 100 items a week on, um, and leaving them sit there and selling half and rolling over half, that's my average what I used to do uh, till I started back on the markets. My average turnover was between 12 and 1500 a week on eBay uh, back back not five months ago. Um, now, all that turnover comes straight back out on the market. Granted, I have less turnover on the market, um, but I have no fees. I can take less money, bang it out to the traders, it's gone, I have more turnover. It's no fees, it's really, it benefits me at the moment. Plus, I'm, it means I'm out buying um, at every car boot sale, and as you've seen, some of my buy-in has been really nice. I'm excited this morning, going up to Gavilon now. Now it's rained all night, you know what I mean? I'm a dumb. But I'm going up, I'm going to see what's there for me. I'm quite excited, you never know. That's the thing with the car boot sales, guys. It is literally a roll of a dice. You know, some people get their kicks out of going to a casino. Um, some people, you know. Right. Some people get their kicks out of uh, going down a mountain on some skis. My kick is going treasure hunting on the car boot sale. You know, I'm going up there now. 
there may be 200 cars in this field today maybe anywhere between 100 and 500 cars and I'm quite excited it takes one car and I love having gold and silver and things don't get me wrong and it pays the bills or it gets put away or whatever I want to do with it or whatever you want to do with it but I get excited when I buy a piece of history absolutely love it if you've seen the videos this week I've had some really nice items in I had that um, slight variation on the Lord's Prayer all hand carved fretwork um, out of a Masonic Lodge I've had those um, letters and photographs from 1892 and 1893 all framed up behind oak um, where the lady was right into um, Princess Mary and Duchess of York and so forth so I've had some really nice pieces over the last uh, few weeks um, it's early yet to be having text messages Sandra saying good morning. Um, I may even put it on to speakerphone now in a second. No, I won't do that because uh, dying dial still be in bed. Um, so yeah, where was I? Yeah, buying. I had some really nice buys, um, and I'm just excited to get up, get it, get down the market, see what else I can get. Winter won't be long this year. It's only two weeks left of the school holidays. And it's flying. These fields and these little boot sales, they tend to run till sort of the end of October. So I'll be back down into Bridgend come the winter. Oh. But it did do me well last winter. Those of you who watched my videos when I started out around uh, January-ish, something like that. Around January, February, I started out doing the videos. And um, for those of you who started watching them very early on, you saw some of the buys I bought. I come back with a hoard of Swarovski crystal jewelry, um, big sterling silver with gilding over them, um, brooches as bumblebees with massive Swarovski crystal elements and so forth. I, I had some really good buys. Let me see if it's brightened up a bit now. Yep, there we are. Daylight coming. Um, so, yeah, get uh, Regend multi story car park really did pay off for me quite a bit last uh, winter. Um, I had that amazing carved Buddha figure. I've had some nice pieces out of there. That um, elephant, Waterford crystal elephant. So all in all, I'm quite excited to get back down to Bridgend. But I can't justify going to Bridgend when all the fields and the you know the local boots are on. Gatlinghead to me is a two five minute drive. <laughs> How are you, Rod? That's a nice price for that candelabra, fella. Fair play to you. I'll get back to you in a bit. Um, lost what it was. Yeah. Uh, Gethley Gay is, you know, it's two minutes to five minutes away from me. So it's no fuel. No travelling time. Do you know, believe it or not, guys, you've seen the size of the pitch I'd have run. I'd have run a 30 to 40 foot pitch. They charged me seven quid. That is all they charge me, £7 to go side on. Now, if I go to Cardiff, if I go to Splot, it's £16 for a pitch. If I go to Bessemer, it's £12 for a pitch. Sully's, um, Sully, believe it or not, is supposed to be £8 for a pitch. And the reason I haven't been back to Sully is plain and simple. She had the cheek, the girl who came around had the cheek to charge me van rate and charge me double because I had a nice big long pitch when there were other cars taking the same amount of room as me but she also didn't give me the two tokens in, in uh, Sully what you're supposed to do is you have a token so if you're a van you have two tokens and it's £16 if you're a car you have one token and it's £8 and then at the end of the car boot sale you take your tokens over to the um, the clubhouse if you like and you enter them into the draw and you have a chance to win £100 cash 
anybody who sells there gets entered in the draw if you want to wait and put, and put your tokens or your leaflet, whatever it is, into the box. I wasn't actually at the stall, Sandra was, and I come back and uh, the girl had charged a £16 van rate but still only give us one token. So she hadn't even given me two tokens. So I thought, well, if they're going to charge me van rate, uh, then I'll go to other boot sales. For the plain and simple reason, Andy gives me as much room as I want in Bessemer, Gethly Gay give me as much room as I want, Gavilon, believe it or not, their cheapest ground, the one I'm going to now, they give me a 30 foot stall for a fiver. Now, these car boots are not short, short of room. You know, Gavilon is a massive, massive field. Um, I get there six o'clock, I set up, I'm in nobody's way, um, and I'm a regular, and they're happy enough. Bessemer, I can drive in early, I haven't got a queue up. Uh, take as much room, long ways as I want. You can't go out very far, because Andy likes the roads narrow. But I can go as wide as I want. 12 quid. Uh, and that's an extra few pounds, because I don't have to queue up on that. I'm trade, I can go in without queuing up, and I have the privilege of going where I want to and taking as much room as I want. Brilliant. And then Sully charged me double. And that, guys, is why I didn't go to Sully uh, this year at all. I haven't been to Sully once this year, and Sully is a cracking boot sale, it really is. Um, it's down by Panath in, in Cardiff, and um, you know they, it's on the old, it's on the football, cricket club, or it's on the uh, yeah football, rugby, and cricket club grounds. And they can hold 500 to 1,000 cars, oh, they really can, they're not short of room. And they go from the clubhouse right the way down to the seafront. And it's a beautiful setting, and we've done it loads last year, myself and Sandra. But um, they kind of annoyed me, charging me double, when, let's be honest, there was no need of it. Um, I don't know whether the girl was in a bad mood that day, or whether she pocketed the extra money, because they add up on the leaflets. So. I didn't go back. That's their loss, not mine. They are enough boot sales that I didn't need to drive to Cardiff uh, to do Sully. Um, if I go back there this year, that's fine. But if they charge me double again, I won't go back again. It's that simple. Um, which also means they've lost a lot of advertisement because I, I had a film at the car boot sales now and I'm constantly announcing the car boots. So, it's their loss. I'm not worried one bit. Um, where are we at? Let me see. Well, I'm not a million miles from the car boot sale now. I'm getting quite excited. Got butterflies in the belly. So, I'll leave it there for uh, a couple of minutes, guys. I'll probably uh, give you a little shout when we get a bit closer. See you soon. Well, the boot's in really full swing, guys. It's, um, it's rained up here yet again. Glad I'm not selling. It hasn't been a brilliant day. Um, no, I've bought a lot of uh, jewellery. I'll give you a quick glimpse of it, but I think I'm going to do the jewellery in a separate video because I've bought a lot of it. I uh, must have 30, 40 pieces of silver, um, if not more. So I'll give you a little glimpse of that at the end, but I'm, to be honest, I think I'm going to make a film of that on its own because this is just so much. I've had a few other pieces, um, which I'll get to now when I finish buying. I want to get back out there. A little look at the field as you see it. It's quite a small boot yet again. Uh, are we talking? One, two, three, four. About six rows. So a double last week. Um, Malvern is on on Monday. So a lot of the dealers are up here trying to get pieces to sell out on Monday so they haven't got to put their money out for long. So it really is hard pickings today. But we'll see what we can get now. Um, the rain have stopped for a minute, so fingers crossed it'll all be good. Uh, and as I said, when I finish the buy-in, I'll show you the bits I bought. I'll give you a quick look at the silver, but I'll make that into a film on his own tomorrow. See you soon, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a couple of the buys I've had this morning now. Um, first of all, we've got this lovely Art Deco style, slightly later, uh, ceiling lamp. Lovely shape to that, guys. Really nice bit of stained glass, blue and green and clear, with a brass, um, all, all this is all brass. So it's quite a nice lamp, it's nothing spectacular. 
but I do like the shape on it. Um, that came in this morning for £2.50. I've had a really nice leather and brass bulldog dog harness. It's got some good age to it and it's a really chunky harness. And I paid a fiver for that, but I love this big plaque at the front. So that's the uh, big dog harness. The light. I've had a vintage uh, German cap gun or rifle. Um, Black Panther, made in Germany. Uh, it's all in die cast metal. Pretty caps in there. Nicely engraved. It's a little Black Panther rifle. I paid £2 for that. I've got a nice Mason's Iron Stone plate. Hand painted or em embellishment with hand painting. This is um, an original piece, Ashworth's Real Iron Stone China. So this is a 19th century one. So that's a nice little plate. And after that guys we have an old signal lamp. G-E-O-P-I. Have to look that up, see what it is. Probably a railway one. Red lenses. Yeah. And it's got its burner guys. Now I paid nine for that. Um sorry if the video's a bit shaky guys. Trying to film oh great, got the seat dirty now. Trying to film in the back of the uh, car here. I'll show you a few pieces of the jewellery now um, that I bought. Okay, before I go into just giving you a quick glimpse of the jewellery, because as I said, I'm going to do a tidy in a film later. Uh, everybody else was looking at the jewellery in a box, and I just glance across at the table and I see this. And then I read that. Every camel is fully hallmarked 925 sterling silver. Now I've paid a tenner for it, guys. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven solid silver camels framed up. You know, it's a little over a pound a camel in solid sterling silver. If you look at the leg, you'll see they are all stamped 925. Um, Memento from the Gulf Silver Collection Sterling 92.5, so 925. So that was a nice little find, to be honest with you, for a tanner. Don't mind that. Right, so. I've had a lot of silver, guys, a lot of jewellery. I've had brooches, a bag full of brooches, literally. Um, there's about 10 brooches in that one bag, so I'll get to them. Mm. Beautiful silver and turquoise maybe, necklace and ring. Really has been a good silver day. You know, that bag there is full of silver. You know, there's rings, there's pendants, there's lockets, there's crosses. You know, amber and silver. Amber and silver again. But right, what I'm going to do, guys, is so much, I'm going to actually put all this into the film and it'll be published tomorrow. I'll probably film all this tonight for you so you can see it tomorrow. Because it is a lot of it. And it hasn't cost me the earth either. You know, there's some massive lumps. Look at that size on that. Yep, fully hallmarked. So it's some spectacular large pieces. You know, there's some beautiful pieces. There's a bag full there. There's a big money bag full there. So all in all, 
as you can see I'm really pleased with the day's buy-in um, the gun may end up going to John I don't know yet I may put it away with the rest of the weapons I've been buying him for Christmas um, for a 1970s maybe 80s German die-cast rifle like that Black Panther rifle it's got to be 10 or 15 quid for two quid I can uh, turn that into silver on the weekend so I may out there because he's got John's got the Colt um, he's got the divers nut dagger he's got loads of stuff coming in as weapons for Christmas um, cup of tea deserved cup of tea guys it's rained up yeah it's been hard there's a lot of buyers hell of a lot of buyers not a lot of sellers I'd say there's about a hundred sellers and probably a thousand buyers so there's certainly enough up here I would have sold well if I'd been selling up here today that's a reminder for something what's that for uh, let me see just checking my phone yeah right. okie dokie so yeah, um, what more can I say? Prices have been right. I've missed a lot of good stock. I've seen it, dealers have come up to me and shown me. Um, when I say a lot of stock, I mean some really, really good pieces. Um, there's been some really fine gear coming out here today. The sellers ain't here, not in the quantity, but the, the stock is yeah. As you can see, the amount of silver I've bought alone, I bet I got 500 grams of silver there, guys. Um, half a kilo of jewellery um, and it's coming at the right money yeah that ceiling light um, the gun the signal lamp and the plate will be gone Sunday if I put them on the stall they'll be gone on Sunday and they'll be gone to show me a good enough profit that I may even cover most of the silver outlay which is what I like to do anyway I like to sell the pieces so the silver comes in for free. Um, yeah, it's been a quiet day. Um, I've missed my banter with uh, my bestie, as you know. But it's been a good day. I got an hour left, so I'm going to go back around see if there's anything I can dig out of there now at the very end. Um, there's bound to be pieces there that I want. Uh, that I've missed so yeah gotta be positive guys <laughs> gotta get out there and you gotta keep looking no matter how many times you go around you'll see something different every time go around a different way look for different stuff and if you've exhausted the jewelry exhausted the antiques exhausted the collectibles move on to the scrap make it pay I'm up yet I've paid the fuel I've done the hours I'll go back around it now before I have to leave and I look for copper and brass and silver plate just to chuck in my scrap box and um, that then will you know that'll pay that'll pay uh, probably the you know the fuel for coming so all in all I'm uh, I'm really pleased um, hope, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the few pieces I think a lot of collectibles I'm sorry but you never know I might get another one or two now see you in a minute just going to zoom in a little guys, just give you a little look at the car boot cell. You can see it there in full swing. It's very small today. But there has been some really good gear coming out. I'm just getting ready to leave. I've been back round, there's nothing, um, there's nothing there I fancy. I'll leave up there for a second for you. You can just have a little look at those uh, getting on with it there for a second. Um, it is, as I said, it's not all, uh, you know overly big, but um, it's paid enough. Okay, guys, um, I'm home. Uh, just been to have a cup of tea with Sandra and I now. Show her the few bits that I bought. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased. I've been to my mum's, uh, took my grandpa home. She've had a little look through the pieces I've bought. 
My mum loves the uh, ceiling light and the uh, bits of jewellery. I can't wait to show you the jewellery, guys, in tomorrow's video. Really is some nice pieces. Um, I've been asked uh, a few days ago, um, Sandra's boy Jack and his friend Yestin came to visit me at the house and they were desperate to have a photo done in the uh, filming office, as you call it. So, I'm going to give Jack and Yestin a shout out. Hi guys. And uh, I'm going to splice in the photo of the boys with me in the office at the end of this film. Uh, they've been desperate to uh, see themselves on my film. They've been following me since the start, so fair play to them. Um, so yeah, all in all, um, I'm really pleased. been a good day. Uh, bought well. Really pleased. Can't wait. Saturday to come. Get out there buying and selling again. Day off tomorrow. Just get some work done at home. Uh, spend a bit of time with the kids. Do some swimming, wherever else. And then Saturday, it'll be back to work. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you have, I would appreciate a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And hit the little bell for notifications. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a group and a page, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. Just run a search for Antiques Arena Clearance. And I have my own website, antiquesarena.com, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.